Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for uh, bring, having us here, Peter and Karen. So I would like to thank our hosts here. And uh, my name is Gabriel, as uh, I was told before. I'm coming from Brazil, but living in Sweden in the last um, nine months. So enjoying the Swedish weather a lot, basically. A lot of snow <laughs> where I live. And I'm here together with Hendrik. Uh, a quick introduction. Um, you know, I'm um, working with IT for more or less 20 years and for Volvo in the last six years. So I'm not really like the majority of people here, which are uh, transportation dinosaurs. I'm really the new guy around seven years, so not so much. And uh, we're here to try to talk a little bit about augmented reality and virtual reality. Not, not virtual reality, sorry, uh, mixed reality. Virtual re reality was before. Um, now, do you guys know the difference between augmented reality and mixed reality? Pokemon Go, everybody knows Pokemon Go? Who knows Pokemon Go here? Okay, most of you. So you're normally looking at your phone when you were playing Pokemon Go, right? This is augmented reality. So you're seeing through the phone, basically. Mixed reality is when you're looking without using the phone. So it's basically a glass. So it's the real thing that you're seeing. And then you add um, models on top of that. So it's basically adding information on top of the, your view, basically. Um, OK, let me go to the following. Next one. So. Group IT, we're doing more than setting up printers and uh, making sure that your computer runs fine. I'm working for Group IT uh, at Volvo. Uh, we're also trying to work with innovation. So last year, we were banging, banging our heads um, on the wall and trying to think, OK, how can we improve the communication between the technician in the workshop and the technical dealer support? Because we know that there are some cases where the technician is kind of stuck because you have a complicated situation in front of him or you have a new campaign, so he doesn't really know how to work with that one. So that's what was, that was our thinking, basically. And we're going to try to show you more or less uh, what we have uh, come, come up with um, as a potential tool to use for that. So Hendrik, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello. Uh, I'm Hendrik. I'm uh, part of the technical deal support, so I'm a colleague of uh, Shana. Uh, we are the first line support for uh, technical questions uh, for the dealers. So um, when Gabriel asked us the question, will you participate in a pilot of augmented reality? We said, of course, yes. So, and also we're a bit of a risk taker in our department. So today also, we will go live to a place where you all like it, I think, to the workshop. And so let's hope everything goes well. Yeah. So somebody, it is uh, to, together with the uh, Volvo Truck Center, Resbroek. So let's hope they are online. So can we see uh, if we can put Hendrik's eyes and hands in the workshop? That's really what we want yes. with this mixed reality thing. So let's see. I suppose it's a live demo. So it's, there's a guy in, in the workshop, Hasbrook. So fingers crossed, huh? Hello. Hello. Hello, Thomas. Yeah. How's life? Good, good, good. Good. So I will uh, first briefly explain to the to the audience what we see here. Eh? So okay. for the moment, I'm connected with the uh, PTC Center Esbroek. Yeah? The mechanic will is uh, wearing a Hololens, and we will um, sketch a bit of a real life daily scenario where uh, Thomas is needing assistance. So imagine that he's uh, on the road somewhere. Um, maybe uh, you heard of the country Australia. There it's uh, very remote areas. Uh, so there we see a lot of improvement. So here you can see what he is seeing. Uh, but uh, also you need to realize here, this is pure setup on the existing internet connection of the workshop. So nothing special was made. So this is pure on their uh, workshop. So it can be that resolution is a bit uh, down <laughs> or low, but we will see how we will get there. OK, Thomas, so you had a, yeah. an issue with uh, a truck? With the yes, we have an issue with a distribu distribution belt. It's the made some uh, squeezing noise. The distribution belt is making some squeezing noise. OK, Yes, uh, Thomas, let me maybe transfer a picture to you because uh, you have, as you know, two belts on your, uh, your vehicle. So yeah. I will... Um... Okay. 
Thomas, do you see uh, a picture in front of you? Yes. Okay, yes, so you see a bit uh, the setup there. Uh, you see the compressor, so of the yes. air conditioning. And you see two belts, number three and number four. Can you please tell me which belt you think it's uh, making a squeaky it's, uh, noise? The belt number three. Number three, okay. Yes. That's good. Just hold on, I will uh, remove this picture, if that is okay for you. Oh, it's, it's okay. Uh, okay, maybe you can close it. Uh, okay, I can close it. Wait, huh? Two seconds. Uh, so you see, for the audience, he's making this big L and the small L. That's to close pictures, to drag pictures. So he can do everything. Okay? So just that you can follow the scenario, of course. So you made it uh, clear to us that it is uh, belt number three. So yes. I will uh, again. Wait, I will make it so a bit bigger. Eh? Good. Okay. Do you see the picture again? Yes, I see. Okay. So I will try to explain a bit. Eh? So we, we have uh, sometimes this issue that the compressor is a bit of a, in a wrong angle. So the, the belt is a bit forced. So when it's turning, it's making some squeaking noise. So I will try to help you with uh, solving this issue. Eh? So, okay, thank um, you. I will first of all tell you or try to tell you what to do. I will put this one here. Okay. Maybe you can close the. Yes. Yes. Because I put it in the back. Okay. So there you see the, the compressor itself. So you see that uh, it's, uh, it's held by four bolts. And so you okay. need to unscrew them. Maybe you can check uh, underneath to, uh, the truck. Is that okay, possible? No yeah. I'm going under the truck. Okay, so you can see with uh, the HoloLens itself, he can run freely. Uh, so there is no safety issue at all. So and he's taking the pictures with him. That's also uh, a feature to do. So, okay. Oh, oh, hold on. Yes, that's the one I need. So, this one and this one. Those, yeah, two, yeah, those two, two you need um, to unscrew, and on top okay. you also have uh, other tools. Okay, it's good. I will remove the arrows. Okay, so for that you need uh, some tools to do that. So if you can go to your uh, tool board, I will uh, indicate them uh, which one you need. Huh? <coughs> so now he's in the grease pit. You can see he's running freely. Okay. Can you just hold steady? So, first of all, you need this crowbar and this uh, torque wrench, because I will explain you why. Yeah. So, Perfect. So, you see a bit the scenario. So you were underneath the truck. So you need to have this, um, this crowbar to fix the, the compressor into the good position so the belt is straight. Yeah. And why did I? Because you were uh, above uh, the grease pit, of course. So you need, of course, a torque wrench because uh, you need to um, also tighten the screws. I will put it here for you. Thanks. Yeah. So, and there you can see it's on uh, 28 newton meters. So, I, if you can go down, yes. or maybe, maybe, can you show yourself to the audience, please? So everybody can see how it Hi. looks like. Wait. Hey. So, okay. If you can see a bit, this is uh, Thomas. Thomas, stand in front of the mirror, please. Because you're entitled to have some uh, spotlight time. Eh? Uh, so this you. is Thomas. <laughs> and maybe you could see the HoloLens. It's quite uh, light, handy. You see there? So his hands are free. He can do the work. He can do everything. It's also completely safe because he can look through the glasses itself. So there is no danger falling into a grease pit or whatever. Or run, aye, run under a truck or whatever. So that's it. So. That was a bit the live scenario. I'm happy it was quite good. Thomas, I want to thank you. Thank you very much. Huh? And, uh, Do you want to say something to the audience? or? 
no, not specially. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worries. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay. And there's. Thank you. So even though it was low resolution, you can give him have an idea. But I was thinking, what if we could, on top of that, use this kind of technology for training? Of course, we discussed virtual reality before. It's the same kind of concept. This would be a live training, like you do this and that. But we could also use the same technology for perhaps roadside assistance. You guys are, just think about your problems, the normal problems. Your technician is outside, and then you need to give some support. And you, you're telling the technician, please, change this, change that. And they don't really get it. And they cannot see exactly what you're pointing at. So this could be a use case scenario. And remote location. So you could also send a less skilled technician and do the job still. Do a really good job with a less skilled technician, for instance. But I would like to extrapolate a little bit. And um, you guys probably know about the diagnostic tools we use, right? Tech tool and other tools like that. Why do we need a computer for a diagnostic tool and repair tool? Could you not have something like that and use only that? So hands-free. You have all the information, impact information, everything you need there. Why not? So much more than that. So this is a live, uh, say perhaps a better resolution uh, picture on the HoloLens. We're using that equipment up there. You're there. And this is 2018. So we have a few products in the augmented reality, mixed reality um, realm. And those are the ones we have right now. There's probably some others. Uh, but those are the main ones. So we have HoloLens, Meta, Magic Leap, and more are coming. But really, what, what can we expect around the corner? So in the near future, perhaps we can have a glass like that. A small, small glass. You put the glass on, that's everything I need to have as a technician from, from an IT perspective. Why not? But if you go a little bit further, and we're not so far away from that, you're going to that point, or have a contact lenses. So you put that on, and that's it. That's your working tool for the day. So this is what we had to show. I hope you guys have questions. Thanks. <laughs>